So this extension is probably my favorite extension for iOS 15 right now that's been released. And this extension is called Stop the Madness. So Stop the Madness, of course, is an extension that allows you to have a better experience while you're surfing on Safari and using Safari for whatever reasons you're using it for. So of course, it's just not an ad blocker, but it has much more features than a typical ad blocker would have. And it's just an amazing extension to have you control your experience while you're using Safari. So let me explain some of those features that are included in Stop the Madness. So one of them, of course, is that it stops Google AMP pages from loading. So Google AMP pages, of course, are just a web page, kind of like web pages that load really fast on your mobile device. But of course, uh, there's some stuff that, of course, third party trackers get tracked from you from there as well and show you better ads. And also it cuts out content that maybe is not showing in the full web page. And so what uh, this uh, Stop, Mad Stop the Madness does, it stops Google AMP pages from loading and it will load instead the original web page instead so you can see all the content. And it will stop, of course, third party uh, ads from uh, tracking you as well, which is really, really great, of course. Uh, that it, you'll, you're able to control uh, this feature in the uh, extension. Another one, of course, is hyperlink auditing. It's uh, one that you'll be able to control, uh, stop tracking beacons, um, stop clickjacking in Google and the Google, Gmail and Facebook as well. So it's a really, really important that feature right there. So instead of having you, instead of having like kind of these like links that you might know what you're clicking on to, but instead it's going to be taking you to something else. Um, that's a really, really neat feature to have and really powerful, of course, um, so that you could control and have a, a safer experience on Safari. And of course, it will remove the tracking perimeters, which is the typical features that I just talked about right now. But of course, my favorite features in this extension are not just those that I just talked about, but are these I'm gonna to explain to you right now. So one of them, of course, allows you to stop videos from autoplaying on certain web pages. So of course, there's some web pages that when you enter it, of course, they just have autoplaying video already starting from either ads or from their default video player that they have right there. So that they start playing ads and then they'll start having the video playing. So now you have the control to stop those videos from autoplaying, which is really, really great because sometimes it gets confusing, but also it just, really, really annoying when you hear ads playing already when you click on the link. So now you have the option right there from the extension to have it turned on. Next is of course show native controls for your video. So now you'll be able to control your videos from your from uh, the web page and have it a better customization for your video experience on Safari. Uh, another one of course is force sites to not open a new tab. So sometimes, of course, when you click a link, it automatically opens a new tab. And then, of course, it creates much more tabs for you in Safari, which could get really annoying. So what this extension does, it gives you the option if you want to turn on where you can force sites to actually open uh, in that same current uh, tab and not having to open a new, a new tab. So it's a really, really cool feature um, that you can have and use for, you know, if you want, if you don't want to get anxious of having so much tabs being opened every time you click on a link in that certain web page. And next and not least, uh, what I really like about this feature right here is that it will stop sending you that you can have the option to turn on so they can ha stop having web pages to send you alerts if you want to close a web page. So there's certain times, of course, that when you click on the website and then you want to exit, it'll have you, are you sure you want to leave? And you have to click yes, and then you have to click exit again. So with this option right here, you can turn on the feature and stop the madness app to have web pages not have to ask you that. You can just close it and then you're good to go and you can leave and do something else on Safari. So that's pretty much it for Stop the Madness. So like I said, it is a awesome extension. There's a ton more features that you can go and turn on um, from the extension in the Safari app. And like I said, I highly recommend this application. It's about like, I think $8 Canadian. But if you use Safari a lot like me and you're using, of course, an iPad or an iPhone a lot, your Safari, then that feature, then this extension is going to be worth your money because of all the features they could turn on to have a better experience in Safari. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, it means the world to me. If you guys will hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, so you can keep uh, uh, so you can keep track of my videos and uh, know when a new video will be uploaded uh, about iOS or Android or other stuff that I'm into right now. So that's it for now, and as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.